Hey, gun people. Man, this guy makes a lot of sense here, uh, talking about the decay of farmer drill sergeant that got out, um, about how we're pussifying the military, for I'm sorry, pussifying the country with all this PC bullshit going on. So, uh, let's listen to his message. So in recent events, there was an engineer training battalion, I guess, or a basic training unit that gave their privates patches once they completed red phase basic training. Red phase, for those of you that don't know, and this is me speaking as a former drill sergeant, red phase is when they initially get to basic training and when they have complete and total lockdown. They have no phone privileges, they have nothing. That is the moment when you set the precedence for the rest of the cycle, you make them understand that drill sergeants are God and they will listen to them. There is no other questioning that authority. But when you start rewarding um, the standard with something that normally isn't rewarded, such as a patch, and yes, it is just a patch, but the fact is, it's the act of giving somebody a trophy for having not completed the entire basic training span, which goes from either eight weeks to 16, depending on where you're training at. And the leaders that make these calls that want to reward everybody for you know mediocrity, for standardized training, or what's wrong with the military and why it's decaying into what it's become now. And soldiers are jumping ship, and I don't blame them. People say you need to stay in and fight back. Well, explain to me how you fight back when those above you outrank you and threaten to Article 15 should you stand your ground. And then you're taking food out of your family's mouth. So I can't blame anyone for not standing up and fighting back. Otherwise, they're putting their family in jeopardy. And that's one reason why I got out. Now I can say whatever the fuck I want to say, and I'm going to. You political leaders that are wearing these uniforms are what's wrong with the fucking military. You continue to sit there and make them go through these damn PowerPoint slides on mental resiliency, mental strength. Meanwhile, you are training them up to be pussies because you are giving in to the politically correct society that we are surrounded by. And here's the problem I see in the future. Right now, we've been at war for almost 15 years, and you look at the suicide rates of my generations of veterans that came through, which are appalling because they've been dealing with combat for so long. They're burned out. And it's really no wonder. And we had it tougher. We did have it harder. We were smoked for hours. It, drill sergeants were hands on. It didn't matter. But now you are creating a generation of crybabies who will come up through the ranks. And it's through really no fault of their own. It's the army failing them that when they are exposed to another generation of warfare, the suicide rate is going to go even higher through the roof because they are not mentally prepared for what they're going to have to deal with in combat. This is not the civilian world. We are the army. We are the military. And now it's come to the point where it's a fucking embarrassment that you're no longer training men. You are training politically correct slave drones is what you are doing. They need to be taught to fight, to survive, and to be able to handle themselves on the battlefield and not be given a participation trophy simply to make themselves feel good. It's to help their feelings. No one issued them feelings, and I don't fucking care about their feelings. Their feelings will get them killed on the battlefield. That's why you have to put the feelings aside and focus on the mission. But now we've got so much fucking privilege out there. Even as a drill sergeant, privates got their phones every week. And you know what that meant for drill sergeants? Drama to creep in. Because now they're exposed to the home front and dealing with those issues rather than focus on graduating basic training and learning everything they can. So this bullshit that we have now, it is really no wonder why soldiers are wanting to get out. And until the leaders in the higher echelons understand that and stop pandering to these politically correct idiots out there, the army is going to continue to decay. And is it really any wonder why other nations' militaries look at us and say, damn, y'all have become a bunch of fucking pussies. In the meanwhile, good soldiers are trying to do what they can to fight back against this system and training their soldiers how they need to be trained. But explain to me why I want to ruin that young soldier's career by immediately throwing it on paperwork rather than take them to the woodline and make them sweat because pain teaches a lesson that paperwork does not and you fail to grasp that you fail to understand that the military did not have these problems years ago before the war but now we do because politically correct idiots have now infiltrated our ranks and you care too much about what people think and not fucking standing up for what's right how dare you bunch of fucking cowards in uniform you are what's wrong with the army.
You and your good idea fairies that are ruining it for everybody. For good soldiers to stand up and lead and train men and women to do what needs to be done to win on the battlefield. I've got news for you. On that two-way range down Iraq and Afghanistan, there are no feelings. It's not politically correct. It is live or die. There is no politics involved on the battlefield. It is kill or be killed. That's the truth. That's the reality of it. But what the fuck do you expect from these political leaders in uniform that don't even know what the smell of gunpowder is, and a lot of them never even fucking fought? That's why I got out. That's why I couldn't deal with it. And I wish I could sit there and say, please stay in. Please fight the system. Do what you can. But in all clear conscience, I can't. I can't sit there and say, stay in and stick with it. If you stop doing what you, if you stop loving what you do, you need to leave it. And I hate to say that, I'm not sitting here slamming the army, it's the idiots within the army that need to change. And it needs to come from the top down. Again, you don't chop the tail off the snake, you chop the head off. That's where you start with it. But I guarantee, no one will make that move. They just won't. Bunch of fucking pussies. Well, I, I mean, I gotta agree with the guy. And he speaks a lot of knowledge there, and the whole damn country, and... This is what liberalism, when he talks about the good fairy ideas, uh, you know, that's what liberalism is. Let's say things that make people feel good, and let's forget about results and what the consequences are to those decisions that we make in this country and in our politics, and, and about our Constitution, and about our rights, and about our Second Amendment rights, and our First Amendment rights. Let's all... Just do everything to make everyone feel good and forget the consequences of our actions. Man, I, I sure as hell hope this country wakes up. This guy speaks some good knowledge. Uh, you know, another good soldier lost from our military. All right, we'll end that there.